What is up? It's your boy Johnny Shreve, IFBB Pro is the like it is. Welcome back to another episode of Train With Me. Today I am with my competitor, Bethany Rideout. You can follow her at Bethany Rideout. She's about two and a half weeks out from Nationals this year, first time at Nationals. Uh, we're expecting some pretty cool things for her, just to be better than she was last time, because she is absolutely better than what she was last time. So today we're gonna bring you guys an awesome glute-focused workout with a lot of hamstrings and, and quads in there as well too. So follow along. I know it's a female competing, and this is featuring her, but men, you can do it too if you want nice glutes, nice legs. Try some of the stuff out. When we get 10, you're gonna speed the rep up and go one for one. Nine, good. One more, and the full rep, keep going, now fast. One, two, good. Three, tight core. Four, five, six, seven, come on. Eight, nine, 10, good, relax. All right, so what we're doing here today is um, we're doing a two weeks out, a little under two weeks out from Nationals. Uh, she looks really good right now. We're gonna go through a really high volume glute focused workout. There's gonna be some knee flexion there too, so there'll be some quads in there as well too. But we're basically gonna pre-exhaust two movements right now, ductors and kickbacks. I'm gonna try to do these kickbacks properly. And then we'll move into our compound movements, varsity squat machine, belt squat, hip thrust, then that's it, sort of. So you're gonna have a hand on here. That's gonna be your leg here. They need like runner style. Doors up in here, right? Then we're gonna push and out. So from here, push, oops, push and squeeze out. So this is gonna kind of keep your, like if you're pushing your foot too low, you can hit that, which is great. So it gives us a, a point of reference. Good, so tip right over. So land on this thing here. Good, okay, cool. So wait, fix this. So knee here, right? So we want flexion. There you go, now from here, push straight back. And up, there you go. And if you see your foot hit there, then you're going too low. There you go. Good. Let your knee flex with your hip. So I need your knee flex even more, so flex. There you go. There you go. And flex. Six, on the way up, make that knee flex right away so we keep it here, there you go. Now we're sitting over top, good. Knee flex right away, that's it. Two. And one, good. Switch leg. Other side of work. So your glute medius will work on the other side because that's gonna keep you from tilting over. Good, last one. Pull, good. Good. You want to make sure you're the one leg, let's say this is the leg that's the, my plant leg, I want to have it bent a slight bit. So I'm kind of hinging a little bit here to create leverage, but this is actually going to make my glute medius work too. Your glute medius keeps you balanced like this. So when I one leg this way, this leg's working so I don't just fall over, right? So that's why we're keeping this. So we're getting, we're kicking, we're killing two birds, one stone. Glute medius on this side and glute media and max on this side.
So it's like glute oriented, but we're obviously squatting is like your prime mover for, you know, sorry, squatting. Glute's your prime mover for squats. So put squats in on your quad day or hamstring day, it doesn't really matter. Um, you're gonna work both, but glutes are gonna get the priority from all of that anyway. So elbows are in here, like a goblet squat, and then down. Right, like get down as far as you can right here. And up. Right, so we're down. Right, and up. Okay, go feet in a tiny, tiny, tiny bit closer. There you go. Now let your knees and hips break at the same time. There you go. Uh, your dose flexion is actually pretty good. You can stay right there. See, so even go a little bit lower. I'll see how low you can go. How low you can go. There. Keep your core tight the entire time. Like push in your like, like push in your core. Elbows underneath, so like almost like you're doing a goblet squat. You can put, even put them here or whatever. Yeah, there you go. Keep elbows in like you're goblet squatting. Tight. There you go, like almost like you're holding the weight perfect. Tight core. Good. Ah, good. You're gonna help the negative, I got the rest. No, no, keep that going. Not done yet. Tight core. Good. Up, ah, good. Down. Tight core, keep everything tight. Up, ah, good. Tight core. Push, good. That's it, keep everything tight. Tight core, tight back, tight legs, squeeze. Good, three more. Two. One more. Good. We're two weeks, two and a half-ish weeks out. So like loading up the bar. I'm not trying to max out or do nothing. It's no point. One or two rep max. No, it's dumb. It makes no sense. If you're actually bodybuilding, this is the point where you really need to stick to just volume and not even worry about like how much weight you're using. You want to use weight to like, exhaust you, but not weight that will hurt you. And trying to go as hard as you can in the point where she's at, where she's not at a healthy, body fat or weight at, at any point at all, loading anything is not gonna be smart at all. So you want our muscles to do all the work. Good. We're gonna finish these, I want you up and down, no pause, up and down. There you go. Good. Uh, good, tight core, keep them tight, I got you. Good. Two, three, one more. Good. So I want you to make, yeah, but I want you to sit back. See so you're like leaning back, get over top. You should be able to do this without your hands, right? So let it pull you down where you naturally go. You're gonna, you're gonna more so hinge than you are gonna squat. So butt's gonna go back, but your knees aren't gonna go as, as forward as much, not in much reflection. So sit down on a bench or pretend you're sitting on a dirty toilet. Up top, so you want your knees to still bend a bit, but sit back, you should be able to sit like this. So let your knees flex a bit first. You go, there you go, do it again. Bend over this way, there you go. Good, good, I want your hips to come up. Squeeze the glutes all the way up, I want to squeeze up, there you go. Knees forward, squeeze the glutes on the way up. There you go. Start squeezing the glutes, feel it on the way up. There you go. So if you watch like this little bump here, you can see as you flex it, it goes up like that. So you can see she's actually squeezing from her glutes and pushing up, you can see how it raises. So right from the bottom, down, 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 squeeze up, good, do four. Tight core, tight core, tight core, tight core. Good, one more. So when we're doing a bell squat, like yes, these are good to hold for like, you know, help. I should be able to sit down just like if I was actually squatting or doing a deadlift, right? I need to keep this back here so it stops moving. There you go. So I need to be able to still, if I had a dumbbell, sorry, a barbell, and I was here, it would look like this. Up, right? So I don't wanna be on this thing kind of sitting back and trying to sit down like this because it's not really doing me much justice here. So if we sit here, I need to look and feel like I'm doing like a deadlift. So while it's here, it'll be boom. 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 
like that, instead of trying to lean back and have my knees kind of do this thing and kind of hold myself here. So shifting weight here, so I'm evenly on my toes and my heels and pushing. And you should be able to do this without any, without using this. This is your, like your help. When shit gets hard, you're like, oh, I can't help. I'm here, but I'm still in that same pathway, right? This is getting really long. This is like, this can be styled like this. Is this a new thing? Can I do this? Yeah. This is my new, my know. new influencer hair. Go ahead. <laughs> Take two. All right, so that's the first actual set since she did it right this time. We're gonna add a little something to it because she's still kind of getting, um, she's getting it, almost has it, but I want her not use the hands. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a little um, something, something in this. Something, something. So we have the, uh, a light band on here just to kind of give her a little more help getting her butt back, but still letting her hips hinge a bit and still let her knees flex a little bit. Go ahead. I want you to find that space again. Don't worry about this thing pulling you back. Do exactly what you're doing before. This is gonna make you work a little bit more on the way up. I want you to remember to get your hips forward on the way up. So we're doing this to kind of get her, put your hips up. Ride it back, try and keep yourself, try and stay up as much as you can. You're gonna lean a bit more. There you go. Lean forward a little more. From your upper body, there you go. Hips forward. I want you to get your knees straight and the hips forward. There you go, and all the way up. So we're gonna be here, and then we're gonna snap up. There you go. So we're gonna, so I have this band here. So for those who are doing like reverse lunges, regular lunges, stationary lunges, that we need a good amount of knee flexion. So most people are, when they do this, they try to sit back and they'll do kind of like this thing and they'll rock back or they'll do a lunge and they're just basically like this. So we want this knee to shift forward so we get the full extension, flexion, hip extension from here, right? So it's kind of a reminder to let this kind of, let this pull your knee forward. Knee goes forward, hips go back. So we're going the opposite way and then when my foot hits the ground, I'm not really necessarily using it as much more so in just for balance. So on the way down, I'm here, then I'm up, here, up, here, up, here, up. And we're just gonna rep it out. So we're gonna go like 10 reps. And as soon as that re uh, 10 reps starts to get harder, you're gonna drop the weight and finish off body weight. So do it, so see here, don't, I want you to set up, put, trying to put any weight in the back foot until you're low enough, so let the knee go forward. So you're sitting, see so you're putting your seat right away. So let your knee go let flex. Let me flex forward. Let it pull you forward. There you go. Now put the foot back. There, now push up. There you go. And down, stand straight up. Let it go straight up, pull it. So you feel that pulling you back. So you should be trying to like make that, put pressure on that on the way up. There you go. Now you can leave the other foot behind. There you go. Grab that toes on the ground. Ripping the floor. You can extend the hip back a little for the back leg so you get more, good. Now don't bend as much forward either. So keep yourself on a little bit of a lean and maintain a, this kind of like posture, not this. So don't be like this, we're gonna be here. So we're, t we're toe, knee, toe, knee, chin. So watch, try to start, start right away, right away, right away, take your foot, pull this back. So I want you to like extend like you're doing a, like you're doing a, um, a leg, like yeah. Ex now keep it, your glute engaged, there you go. Now when you push yourself forward, that leg is already back and up. And squeeze that back glute as well too. I'm gonna grab weight after. So when you're doing like lunges, the reason why people have like a hard time balancing is because you're trying to like either like hinge back or lean back on your heel. And you're like, you don't know if you can even like, like do this, just walk around like this all day long. Like no one can stand here straight like this. So grip your toes in the floor. So when I'm going down, my toes are gripping in the ground and I'm up. I can stand here all day as long as my toes in the floor. If I take my toes off like this, now I'm starting to lose balance. But if I do this, it's like I'm gripping myself. I can pull myself forward. And that's what your, that's what your fucking toes are for, fuck's sakes. Use your toes. I don't understand that. I'm gonna use the weight now.
So last we're doing sliders with cuttable RDLs. So this is one exercise and, and it's a, it's a super set. So yeah, that's all I can say with this. All right, so hands on the floor like you're doing a leg lift. Keep your core engaged. Heels about, heels as far as outside you can on this thing here. There you go. Make sure you're even. Yeah, start starting straight. Yeah, and I'll go up. Now pull, pull them all the way in underneath and push it out. Pull all the way in, as much as you can. Further. All the way in, Tucker, there you go. Good. Good. I just finished the legs today, guys. So get over top of it and hinge yourself back to pick it up. Tight lats, engage your core. Good, hips back, knees are gonna straight. There you go. Hips forward. Good. Two, good, grip the floor with your toes. Good, let your arms hang, Let's engage. Let your arms hang. So protract. Don't try to don't try and bend your arms a little bit. So if I pick it up, so look, my arms are hanging, right? And I'm engaging, sewing them down. Right? I'm engaging my lats, my I'm protracting and my lats a slight bit, but my arms are I'm not trying to hold this up. My arms are like hooks. If I was just going like yoink, then it's long. My arms are long. When I pull this tight, this gets tighter from here. So we have a slack like this. Right, so right here, down, tight. Right, I'm just engaging, I'm just doing this. That posture keeps my shoulders. If I do this, then I'm doing this. So I'm just this way. Like someone's trying to tickle your armpits, but don't bend your knee, I won't bend your elbows. Just like this. Like, don't tickle me. Eh. Yeah, so that is it, guys. Um, that is it for our, I don't want to call it a bikini workout. She's a bikini competitor. To comp she's competing in bikini category in two and a half weeks. This is a good overall, you know, glute focused workout that's going to have both a um, little bit of hamstrings in there and quads with the knee flex, hip flexion. But emphasizing that. Anyway, so guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know, come with the tongue. It is transparent, don't the truth. And for coaching, johnashee.com. Guys, if you want to know more about my coaching, book yourself a 15 or 30 minute consult. At the end of that consult, I deduct it off any package that you pick. Guys, hit that description below for those discount codes and promo codes that will help save your life or change life for the better. Guys, add myself on TikTok and Instagram, but also add Bethany on Instagram as well, too. What are you at? Beth Rido. Beth Rido, so add Beth Rido, add her there at the bottom, Beth Rido, Instagram, add me on TikTok and Instagram, guys. Send me your progress pics, your training pics, and your video clips, and I repost it for you, because you know how it is. Iron Sharp Design, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace. Huh.